kayak or canoe on crystal clear Upper Campbell Lake, climb a rock face, or swing on the ropes course. Beginners are welcome. Outdoor adventures, led by their talented teachers and guides, are open to all guests and visitors to Strathcona. Tens of thousands of people have had their first experience in a kayak or a canoe or rock climbing here at Strathcona and uh, I think they really do, I think we, t we turn them on to uh, a whole new lifestyle. I think for those adventurous folk that want to come out and give it a try, you'll be very impressed with the level of instruction. Uh, we get a lot of return clients and a lot of it's to do with the high level of talent we have in our instructional pool. All the way to the okay. so from here. Uh, right behind me today is a kayak lesson called Daily Adventure. Uh, just on, for the kayak lesson, what we'll do at first, we'll get everybody using the safety equipment. We'll get life jackets on, learn about the different types of boats we're going to use, go over a few strokes on the shore before we get in the water, how to get in and out of the boat as well before we head out in the water. We'll go out in the water, Go over a few strokes, forward, backwards, uh, play a few games to reinforce the skill. Go for a little paddle to one of the other bays on the lake, and then we'll come back, play a few more games, and then head in for the day. ultimate self-rescue, it's called the kayak roll. What will happen is she'll flip over and then she'll right herself up uh, using the kayak roll. Uh, if there's nobody else around, this is what you have to do. Uh, it's a more advanced skill you learn when you kayak more often. Uh, it's used well a lot in the river when you do whitewater kayaking. We'll do a, a kayak roll for sure there. We don't require the first lesson. <laughs> we can try if you'd like. <laughs> we developed an um, outdoor program that involves uh, coming to camp in an outdoor situation with your grandparents and so it's a nice way for the parents to send their kids off and, in a trusted environment with the grandparents along and it's surprising how it works that you, there is adventurous grandparents out there that want to go out and kayak and canoe and rock climb with the grandchildren and do adventurous activities. We start down by the office where we get helmets and harnesses and then we climb on the base of the office building and warm up. There's a bunch of, like it's a stone wall. And then we walk up here and our rock specialist does a demo of a rappel and then climbs back up. And then basically our belay station is over there and we just start. Just turn around and space the wall here. A lot of people get really, really excited, and some people are relieved to get down. It's a, it's a mixture. Okay, I see how you do that. Okay. So your left hand is going to be your control hand, okay? So you don't want to really totally let go with your left hand. And what you're going to do is just shuffle some rope up through the figure eight here, okay? And uh, if you're holding up here with the other hand, you let it slide through the other hand, all right? So uh, if you keep it next to your hip, then uh, it's going to cause more friction. You're going to go slower. And if you want to go a little bit faster, then just bring your hand out from away, away from your hip, and uh, you go a little bit faster. Now just lower yourself down onto your heels. Just want to make sure you're getting that L shape. Get your feet nice and flat on the wall. That's it. A little bit wider apart. All right. 
after the race with you. Okay. Thank you very much, Eric. Right. Right. We'll head down now. You want your feet so flat that your heels are actually touching the wall at all times, okay? But otherwise, if you get on your tiptoes, it's easy to slip, which isn't a problem because I have you here, but you want to look, you want to look good too, right? You want to go twice? Okay, so you've got a chance to do that. You've gone We're twice. We're not going to get any lunch today. <laughs> Just busy rock climbing. <laughs> Enjoy a wide variety of natural foods with three buffets each day and in the summer, a la carte selections from a table service menu. Vegan dishes are always available and fish, poultry, lamb or beef entrees are a choice in the evenings. Ethnic dishes are incorporated into everyday meals to cater to the increasingly cosmopolitan tastes of our visitors. Vacant Rod, and we have that advantage that uh, we have the mountains and the glaciers and the rivers as well as the ocean all nearby. So depending on, on the interest of the clientele, um, we're able to deliver that. We have times when we're doing uh, educational programs when we may have 25 groups going out 25 directions doing, you know, caving or whitewater paddling and sea paddling and climbing mountains and rock climbing all on the same week, you know, so it's amazing. Okay, so now these things have clips here. And they've got a buckle there, right? And they feed in like this. So they feed up through there, and they spin. So then they're locked like that. Sometimes you get kids that are really tentative to be up so high and trying to get their, over their mind that they're, they're safe, that they, they can trust the equipment. Some people may say it's really challenging for them. Uh, some people think it's, it's a lot of fun going through all the different elements. I hope that's giving you a taste of what uh, some of the activities we do at Strathcona Park Lodge. We've been doing it for almost 40 years. And if I think we still stay on the forefront when it comes to self-propelled outdoor pursuits. Strathcona Park Lodge, an outdoor education center, is located 45 kilometers west of Campbell River on Highway 28 towards Gold River. For information on the Best of Adventure Vacation or any other package, call the lodge at 286-3122. 
or check out their website at www.strathcona.bc.ca.